Hey everybody, my name is Penelope, but if you don't already know that, that's an issue for another day. But today, let's take a look at the Nissan Aria. This is the 2023 Nissan Aria. It's an all-electric SUV from Nissan. And here, we're going to admire the front, which has this cool Kimiko pattern here. Uh, over here, we've got this new electrified V-Motion grille for Nissan, which is matched over here on the other side. It consists of the daytime running lights and the turn signals, which is super cool. As we go down the side of the vehicle, we can take a look and admire the sloped roofline and sloped rear glass to give it extra aerodynamics when you're going down the road. And there's no exposed rubber as well on this vehicle, which does what? Gives you more range. One of the biggest concerns with going all electric is range. And with the Aria, you can get up to 304 miles of range. And with this CCS connector, you can charge the vehicle in under 40 minutes. One of the first things you'll notice when you're sitting inside the Aria is how quiet it is, which can be thanks to it being an EV number one. And uh, you've got acoustic glass here on the driver window, passenger window, and the windshield. Um, also throughout the cabin, you can notice this very cool Kamiko pattern, which is copied outside, but is copied into the interior of the vehicle as well, which illuminates at night. One thing that does come as standard on the Nissan Aria is Nissan Connect Services. Uh, it's a convenient app that you can download on your phone to do certain functions remotely, like remote lock, unlock, remote climate control, or flashing the lights. And if you're a parent and you're letting one of your children borrow the vehicle, you can do some nice things like boundary alert, curfew alert, or a speed alert. When driving the Nissan Aria, to get the most out of the up to 304 miles of range, you yourself as the driver can utilize all of the systems available, like the regenerative braking system, which if you activate the e-step, will put the regenerative braking system to the highest setting, and you will get the most out of the range. So when you lift off of the accelerator, the vehicle will slow down so that you can use essentially one pedal, not to a full stop, but down to about five miles an hour. As the driver, I get to enjoy this beautiful dual 12.3 inch monolith smartphone inspired display, um, which is easy to reach as the driver and it has integrated wireless Apple CarPlay. One of the other amazing standard features on the Aria is Nissan Safety Shield 360, which covers you safety wise all the way around the vehicle. So you've got safety um, covering you on the front. So you've got forward collision warning, um, as well as pedestrian detection and lane departure warning. On the sides, you've got blind spot monitors and uh, rear cross traffic alert. And then on the back, you have rear automatic emergency braking. That way, if there was a large stationary object behind the vehicle, if it came within eight inches of the bumper, it would fully apply the brakes. The Aria does have some available accessories that are absolutely amazing, which you should totally check out at your local Nissan dealer. Uh, down here, we've got these awesome all-weather floor mats, uh, which now that it is wintertime in Colorado, we are certainly appreciating, which has helped keeping the inside of our demo nice and clean. Uh, you can also get a nice retractable pet divider uh, for when you've got your four-legged friends with you. And if you want the inside of your Aria to look extra premium, you can get some interior lighting to help bring up the interior of an already extremely premium cabin. Thanks for taking a look at the new Nissan Aria with me. Um, Nissan's first EV was in 1947 and they just keep getting cooler. I'm super happy we had the opportunity to take a look at this vehicle together. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an awesome day.